we're going to talk a bit about stability. So those forces that we create, or those features that we use to create forces, um, pertain to the stability of the vehicle. And that's with respect to the, the position that the force acts. So the distance from the center of gravity. So we know that um, the center, that objects in space will tend to spin about their center of gravity. And these are the forces that, uh, that you generally tend to see that we can easily understand, the downforce, the drag, and the side force. And they'll create moments. And a moment is proportional to the force times the distance. So um, essentially where that force is acting will tell us how big of a moment's acting on the vehicle, which is a rotating force. Um, and it'll tell us about the stability characteristics of the vehicle. Okay, so like it says here, an object in space will tend to rotate about its center of gravity and where the forces act determine the moments experienced by the vehicle. So as you can see in the, in the, um, in the image, the force is acting on the front wing, pushing the nose down, so it's creating a pitching down force. These are the different uh, types of uh, moments or uh, rotational axes, sorry. This is the rolling one. So as your car's going around a corner and someone's going really fast, you'll get pushed to the outside. Your kind of car's rolling out of the corner, All right? So that's the first one. The second one is a pitching. This is the second rotational axis, and that is your, if you slam on the brakes really hard while you're driving and you notice the nose goes right down, that's a pitching down moment. And this is your, uh, your moment. And I think this one's critical to the design of a Formula One in schools vehicle because um, we don't really want any yawing moments because we want to remain as straight as possible. And this is shown here on the figure on the right. So this is stability. This is kind of the definition of stability. If something is stable when it's moved from the original state, so say when it's moved from a straight line, it'll want to return back to that straight line direction. So that's what we consider to be stable. If something's unstable, if it was to remove from that straight line, it would be pushed further away from the straight line. Now, if you look at the pit figure on the left, that shows it. Now on the figure on the right, imagine if that tail plane was in front of the center of gravity. Okay, so that cut, that plane's been perturbed to the right and the tail's pushing it back around. But if we put that uh, vertical stabilizer in front, it's gonna keep pushing it away. So that's considered to be statically unstable and a poor design. So this is effectively why that kind of stability is important because if we are turning, if our vehicle's turning away, we're creating more drag on the tether. If we're hitting the sides of the track, we're uh, creating friction and we're also losing effective thrust because it's acting out of the axis of the direction that we want to travel.